All right. Hey, Kyle, thanks for jumping on, man. No, man. Yeah, so uh, got this horse consigned here. Really appreciate it. Um, you know, let's start with uh, maybe just uh, introduce yourself and kind of make sure everybody knows who's uh, selling this horse. Okay. Um, Kyle Noyce, live down here in Blanchard, Oklahoma, a little bit southwest Oklahoma City. Uh, mostly we shoot horses for a living, and that's the main part of our business. And then the little side part is we ride a few outside horses and a few of our own and try yeah. to stick to cow horse. And yeah, you might might be selling yourself a little short there. Um, I know you trained a lot of good ones up here when you were in the North Country. If I remember right, you were reserving the Hackmore. Was that right? On Boone yeah. or three? We've had, had some good ones. We've been... Uh, I mean, a few, quite a few world show as an NRCHA world show finalists and top 10 horses and a couple that have made top five. And Yeah, level two, top three APHA world show on a smooth as a cat gelding this year. Yep. yep. Um, cool little horse gelding. Uh, pretty, pretty proud to have him around and he's pretty fun to show. Yeah, he's a cool one, old Jose is. So yeah, no, so no, that's good. I know you're you're not gonna brag on yourself, but I think folks need to know you know what you're doing on one. Maybe um give us a little background on how you ended up with this gelding. I, I think I know the background backstory, but I'll let you tell it. Sure. So we just found him online, and, and he's one of them ones that everybody looks for. Like he is the true horse that slipped through the cracks. Um, I found him on Facebook years ago, two years ago actually, and kind of talked to the guy and and just decided like hey this is something we need to go look at and the more i looked into him the more i found out he sold at the cut fraternity at the yearling sale and just included people not paying attention to him maybe not wanting to put the time in him i'm not sure but he slipped out and ended up here in uh, the panhandle oklahoma we went and looked at him and i rode him and took him home um he was well, if you look at his pedigree and, and to your point i think that's one of those things dual ray out of gina badger um, that mare uh, produced almost 500,000. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is bred to do the deal out of obviously Dulray. We all know him. And so, like you said, um, you know, he, you're spot on. These are the ones we're all looking for those, those cutters, X cutters that fall through the cracks that uh, then you can take on and, and just go in any direction. And I've known you had this colt here for at least a year. And I, and, and I know that, you know, you talked about it before. You just needed a good gelding around it go play around with when you were getting the itch to do some training a little bit more or go rope on or or just go doctor cows in the pasture or whatever yeah and, and that's what he's been i mean we and we knew he was behind and that's the only way i could afford a horse like that um yeah. and so we we worked in probably the first six months rain and trying to get him a little bit better broke and the horse is unbelievably talented in the stopping department i mean that 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 dude can stop in a rock pile. It doesn't matter where he's at, when or how. You say, "Whoa, well, he will drag it every time." Uh, I think we show it here watching this video. I mean, you see him here, and you know, you you sent me more videos of him stopping, but those are the ones we put in. It doesn't doesn't look like he turns around too bad either. No, and, and I mean, he's sure enough going to be a plus half turn. Um, yeah. You know, the the biggest fault is no none of his own. Is you know, I own him and. <laughs> here we've gotten unless he gets road but he, he's the gelding that i can turn out and leave him out for two months and you know go see shelby for the weekend or the week and go camping and catch him up throw shoes on him and go trail ride him for yeah no weeks. like you said i you know we always like to see these horses go be cow horses or this or that but i'm not convinced sometimes they're not they're, they're not more valuable to us personally when they're like this when they can do everything from like you said trail ride you know go do some roping on and i know he's green in that roping department but you know just like you tracking around the, the uh, roping steer here you know um you know you can see it and you can really see that he's he's being pretty good minded how is he um how i mean obviously here you're showing him score um what would you say about him on the roping side let's be clear with what he is on the roping so the roping side he runs through a cow real good he's still a little bit Cowie, I mean, he's still a dual, right? So if you get on fresh steers and you come around that corner and they start to jump, and that's when he'll get a little bit hesitant about running up in there. But I mean, that's just I just, think, dream, you know. He just needs to know that he can run up in there. Um, yeah, he's really that, good that just tells me, as clearly as he is, 
that son of a gun, when it goes time to stop, he's going to drag it and put some pull on those calves and on those heels. Absolutely. And, and I've roped and laid calves down, talking, and I mean, he's been just fine like that. Um, he scores really good and he leaves really, really flat. Um, and he's a lot faster than maybe he looks. Like the, these steers here, we were scoring on were pretty, I wouldn't call them roped out, but getting close. And uh, he will run down there. He steer stops really good. Well, but, I, I think he, he's like a lot of those dual rays that have some leg on him. Um, you know, he's 15 hands, he's not, he's not small. Um, nope. and, and they don't, that they, they, they can flat out get, but they just don't look or feel like they're running that fast, you know, but, uh, if I know the kind, I don't suspect he's going to get outrun by much. No, not by much. And I mean, as big as this breakaway thing has gotten, especially down in this part of the world, it, that horse has got to be, in my opinion, one of the best breakaway prospects there is. I mean, okay. as hard as he stops and as cowy and hard as he runs to a cow. There, there, it's a no-brainer to me there, um, and I don't think he, he's. Necessarily, I mean, he's definitely can be a cow horse too. I mean, he could go be a show horse. He yeah. just, you know, he hasn't had the time. Mainly, the consistency, and but he, he is a horse that it doesn't take much. Like you go get him, if after sitting for three months and lope him around the first day, and that second day he's right back to where he was when you left off three months ago. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, just like there too, I know you're just messing around when these videos were taken, but you know, every time you watch this colt to your point, you ask him to stop, he just stops. And um, you, uh, you, you've you told me this before and I believe it. I mean, that's not something you can always train into one. They're, they're kind of born either to stop or not. And uh, so, yeah, this, this seems like an awful nice colt to me. And I guess he's not a colt at five years old. He's just ready to be the using kind. Yeah, and I mean, he's broke enough that you can ride him around one hand and he'll do everything you ask him to, change leads, turn around, stop, with the circle. Um, you know, he's been rode outside quite a bit. He's, I mean, he's just been kind of used as a good ranch gelding and I've taken him over to some of them smaller stock horse shows here. We help some people and he gets tied to the fence all day and turned back on for five to 10 hours a day and and anybody can get on him and turn back on him. He, he's just a good gelding. Yeah. No, well, hey, well, I, I'm excited to have him on here. Um, anything else you need to say? Um, just give everybody confidence, maybe real quick talk about, I mean, obviously you doing the farrier work, uh, one of the things you're more concerned about the most is feet. Um, talk about his feet, talk about his soundness, all that real quick for everybody. Um, he's been 100% sound, never had a problem. Uh, he's good to shoot. I usually leave him barefoot in the front unless I know I'm going somewhere to help somebody where it's going to be pretty rocky country. Um, then we'll throw some shoes on him. But other than that, he's been 100% sound. Um, and like when, when we bought him, I had x-rays taken, you know, hawk stifles, front feet, just to make sure and there wasn't a thing wrong with him. Awesome. Good. Well, we still got a week and a half here if somebody's interested and they want to have him vetted. You know, guys, uh, that's always uh, an option. We, we encourage that, welcome that. Um, it is at the, uh, the prospective buyer's expense, but uh, you know, guys, we're, we're excited about this gelding. I hope um, we've answered all your questions. If you have any other questions, reach out to Kyle. Um, he is a working man, so you know, give him, be patient there. Um, leave a message, text or something, and let him get back to you. Um, or, or you can call myself, uh, we can answer what we can. But, um, awful good yelling here, and uh, thank you again, Kyle, and everybody, I uh, wish you the best bidding. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate you.